Welcome back, welcome back. Episode 11 of our Soul Link of Red and Blue. Last episode was, you know, a nice calm episode. Nothing Amazing. too crazy happened. Yeah, nothing no, too nothing, happened. nothing, nothing too crazy at all. I don't know. Uh, but me and Mac checked our game corner encounters. Um, someone asked about if we ever do those, and I usually don't, but we just peeked at them for cur you know, out of curiosity. And I have a Dragon Air available, and he has a Ghastly and a Charmeleon available. The one dragon it and the one ghost, crazy. they are available. But my dragon air costs like 150 coins, so I can get it in two seconds. But unfortunately, Charmeleon, Charmeleon, is, like 200 and Charmeleon is like 2,500. 2, and that's like $50,000 in game. So that's that's a lot. That's a lot. Ooh, that's that a lot of pin monies. missile did so much. Yeah, it's a lot. So uh, we might come back to it later in the game if we got the money for it. Uh, start saving up. Sell a bunch of the garbage TMs we get and whatnot. Golem has I been a beast. I only made like eight grand off of it. Yeah, he sold a bunch of like tail whips and all those and didn't really do too much, unfortunately. But we'll get there eventually. Eventually. Uh, you're going to be you're gonna be getting a Dugong pretty soon. Yeah. Which is exciting. I am looking forward to a Bubble Beam, an Aurora Beam. It's going to be broken. Broken. All right, uh, but we decided to come down here to the Team Rocket base. We weren't gonna. You, you didn't. You didn't talk to the poster. Oh, talk to the poster. What am I doing? Not because I played Gen One in a while. Move, Rookie. Rookie Holy move. Cow. I don't know like the fastest way to go through this. I usually just explore the whole thing. You just sold I a bunch too. of TM, so you should have room in your inventory. There's a good amount of items in here. Yeah. Ride you. Oh, cool. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, good thing it's not me. <laughs> wow, you got a you got a perfect answer for her now. I do. That's true. Oh, I paralyzed me. Come on. Come on. Growl failed. I love it. Growl failed. Love, it. love that for you. All right, Polyworld. Polyworld looks so good. He he really does. I like it. I'm really entranced by his little spiral belly. I've always said, I don't know why, but if I were to have one Pokemon, for some reason I feel like I would have a Polyworld. Really? I don't know why. Oh. I've just I, I've just always felt that about Polyworld. I would 100% have a Sandshrew. All day. All day. Oh, I need to buy some uh, antidotes. Because I used mine, and uh, I don't want to get stuck being poisoned somewhere. No, that would be miserable. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna go run back to the shop real quick. And do some little speeding around. A little scoot scooting. No. I have a funny story one time. Uh, when I was a kid, and, yeah. you know, Pokemon... I think I had Pokemon Yellow. I think that's the game I had. And I let my best friend's older brother borrow it because yeah. he liked the game. Um, but at the time, my best friend's older brother wasn't really... Uh, into the best, you know, group of friends and stuff. He was getting oh, got into no. some trouble and stuff back in the day. That's yeah. just a little background information. Uh, <laughs> and I let him borrow it, and he was just playing the game, you know. Yeah. And he got stuck in the Silph Co building, where you have to take the teleporter to get like the lift key. Okay, um, yeah. He didn't like know how to get to it, so he was stuck. So he called up my house. Was like, "Hey, could you help me out with this? I don't know what to do." And my best friend, his young, you know. It was his older brother, yeah. but my best friend at the time was on vacation. He wasn't even home. And my grandmother, who I lived with, knew that. And where am I going right now? I am so lost. Um, so I went over to his house because I was going to help him with the game. And my grandmother yeah. just happened to like be looking outside and saw me walking over there. Wow. And she called up his house and spoke to me. I was like, what are you doing over there right now? And I was like, I'm helping his older brother play Pokemon. She's like, yeah, sure you are. Get over here. <laughs> She's like, there is no way you're going to his house to help him with Pokemon. <laughs> she didn't really know him at the time, so she only knew him uh, as to, you know, be getting into a bunch of trouble as a kid. So yeah. she was not very fond of it. But yeah, I was That's like, hilarious. what? Are they, how'd you even see me? Like, That's I was hilarious. like, he lived like right across the street, but like it was across like a parking lot. So yeah. and I was at actually another friend's house that was like a block or two away from that. So I went from one friend's house to that friend's house. And my grandma just happened to notice me across the street. I was like, what the hell, man? And he just was he was genuinely now. just struggling at Pokemon. I didn't buy antidotes. What am I doing with my life right now? What are you doing? Where are they? You don't sell them. 
You sell. Yeah, oh, this guy I sells TMs, and this one sells. Yeah, here we go. My first time playing Pokemon. Don't mind me. What even is Pokemon, honestly? <sighs> what is life? What is life? What is life but a series of battles? You know, sometimes you fight a Mewtwo. Series of legendary encounters. Sometimes you fight a Moltres. You know. A Pokeball. Very good. Uh, we're getting to the point where this game is about to like wipe the floor with us i just hope you know that yeah yeah yeah. because yeah, uh, yeah. after level 32 every trainer's pokemon is gonna be fully evolved so the amount of pokemon who are now we talked about how you know there's 151 pokemon and like eight of them are like legendary yeah. uh once you only select from fully evolved pokemon it's like eight out of like 75 pokemon <laughs> so oh, those gosh. legends pop up quite frequently Mm -hmm. Oh, I went. I took the wrong stairs. That's fine. That's Jeez. fine. I'm gonna go down, not up. Okay. <sighs> Disable. Did you save my dig? No, you didn't. Good. Better not. What I love is that the is that the rock music hasn't changed like at all. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Are you still recording? Yeah. Hi. Oh. Sustenance. Breezy says hi. <laughs> she just brought me um, some turkey burgers and fries. Ooh, that sounds bomb. I actually, one of the best burgers I've ever had was pork. A pork burger. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, is she talking smack right now? Oh no, she was like, tell him that if he if he drives over, he could, he could have some. Oh, yeah, I'll be there in like three days. Hey, yeah. <laughs> You got this, no problem. Easy, easy. Oh, fuck, speaking of seeing more in, uh, legendaries, oh. I think it's my turn to deal with the Moltres. I haven't dealt with one of these yet. Huh. On the bright side, you're like 10 levels higher. On the downside, it's a Moltres. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna try paralyzing it. Champ. Oh yeah, yeah, the champ can't do nothing to this thing. Okay, okay. I Dude, know. This guy has five Pokemon. All right, you want you want to fire spin me? I'll wrap you to death. How about them apples? Oh, I was saying though, best burger I think I've ever had. Oh, it's up there. I mean, I say that every time I have a good burger, I say it's the best burger I've ever had. But um, right. there is a place. It's called Yard House, I believe. It's kind of like a chain restaurant. It's not like just around here. I've heard of Yard House. Yeah, apparently yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a pretty popular thing, but there's only one that's like within like an hour radius of me. And they have a turkey burger. No, it's a pork burger with like a Ooh. blueberry ketchup or something like that on it. Yo. And some like pickled something else on it. And God damn, was that thing delicious. No, so get this. I was, we were traveling. We went to some hotel that has like this like cool water park in like South Dakota once. Mm hmm. And we're, dri we're driving through this like little rinky-dink town somewhere in like northern Nebraska or South Dakota or something, <laughs> and I and we saw that this like is it was basically like a pub I think, and um, ooh wing attack, ooh, get rid of that gust, I like. Um, I, I I I saw some in the menu that fascinated me, so I had to order it. It was a peanut butter and jelly hamburger. I've I've never had a peanut butter jelly one, but I've had a burger with peanut butter on it before. And um, how how'd you feel? It, how'd you feel about it? Oh, it was so good. Had had had, had, had like raspberry jelly on it, mm. and oh my gosh, it was to die for. See, I had it. I was on Martha's Vineyard actually. I remember uh -huh. this, and they had a burger with peanut. It was peanut butter and bacon, I believe. And, and bacon. Yeah, it wasn't wow. like I didn't hate it. But like, I just feel like the peanut butter wasn't like doing anything special. Like, I didn't yeah. think it needed to be there. You know. I mean, I'd be down to trying to get again though, if there was like another well, spot. I feel like with peanut butter and a burger, you can like lather it on, like you do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. Like it felt like it was just it didn't need to be there. Holy cow! You spin no power, so slow in this. I love it. Calcium. What is calcium doing again? It's defense, right? Poblano. Oh, it's special. I learned oh. we had buns. Huh? Learned we had buns. Huh. Ooh, a TM. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Try attack. Oh, try attack's broken. Dude, try, try attack, attack is so, so good. broken. 
Can I teach you to duck trio? Because he so normally good, can. <laughs> it's so good, bro. Like, it's so good, bro. Bro, it's the best. Bro, Ruff. teaching it to bat squash. Bro, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Becky, look at her butt. I love that they're just that on top of Munchlax. It's beautiful. It's kind of fitting, honestly, for Munchlax. I'm going the wrong way right now. Bro, what are you even doing? Oh, we got Slash? Slash. Not terrible. Pretty solid move. Good for deuce instead of tackle. That is very accurate, actually. Nope. Deuce Meister. You get slow down when you're teaching moves. That's not the worst than when you were like a kid and you were playing Pokemon for like six hours and then you right. teach like Whirlwind over Flamethrower on your Charizard and it's like, oh no. What do no, I do? The, the worst thing as a kid was playing this on your Game Boy whatever and you run and you run out of batteries. Ah uh, yeah, that's that's up there. That was one of the worst feelings. Definitely is up there. Ooh, an Arcanine. Um, did I get all the items here? Arcanine looks phenomenal. Ooh, I didn't get that item. I'll get it all the way back. just always looks good, though. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. Oh, all right, Zapdos. I'm sick of you. Are you? You know what, Posty? Get out here. <laughs> you got the type advantage? You think you have the type advantage. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Get him out of here. Oh, he lived. Bro, oh, we're bro. fine. We're fine. My physical defense is ballistic. He ain't doing nothing to me. <laughs> he ain't doing nothing to me. He ain't doing nothing. Uh, Zapdos, pathetic. I need to stop talking smack. I'm going to fight another one that's level like 38 and it's just going to sweep my team. Yeah, probably. <laughs> why, why, why do I feel that Giovanni is going to murder us? You do have a golem, which is like the best thing in the world for like the three birds, except for Articuno because he'll have Ice Beam. But Moltres and Zapdos can't touch it. It's true. You just click a rock throw and boop, they're gone. I mean, unless you get fire spin for like 45 minutes again, then I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was the absolute worst thing. It won't happen, don't what worry. What is this door? That's a very large elevator, okay. Next speed. They're giving me drugs. Kind of jealous, honestly. Polywag? Oh. Uh, let me get the deuce out of there. Speak of the devil. Articuno. Oh, heck no, bro. Because <sighs> we're having a good time. Good having time, a, good having time. a good time. Did I fight all three this episode? No, the multi I multi this one? That's kind of ridiculous. Easy Who peasy. Was I'm not going to watch. You could have had one on your team, all right? <laughs> Shoot, you got me there. You could have had one on your team, and you chose not to. Uh, speed up chose not to is what it was. All right, I'm going to go grab that item. Omni? Do Pidgeotto now having Mega Drain is disgusting. That's such a good combo for it. Dude, why was this the easiest battle of all time? All X items, come on. Can I dig especially, out of here? Especially the uh, Sancher. That was oh, really, epic. really easy. Oh, yeah. Especially the Sancher. Yeah. Especially the Specifically. Sancher. Of all the Pokemon, you really had to point out. Sancher, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> you know, I thought I liked Jamek. I thought we were, thought we were getting along, you know? <laughs> uh, I should be selling these items. I'm just going to throw them in the garbage. <laughs> just going to dump them. Yep. Who needs them? Oh, fetch. Let me do the same thing here in a second. Just like you threw away a Sancher. Yep, exactly. I just keep the Pokemon. We'll get rid of the X attack. Yeah, X items I'm tossing. I never use them. An Ultra Ball, yes. Ooh, I do have Twin Needle for this Slowbro. Do a Hypno? Didn't do that much damage. Disabled my try attack. I forgot I had try attack. I'm not gonna lie. I could have stood in against that Zapdos. You were so excited for it. I know. I completely forgot I got it. 
Charmander. Growlithe. Deuce is beast mode, I'm telling you. He's gonna solo run this whole game for you. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. What was it? It's an Articuno. Oh yeah, the one I said that you don't easily deal with. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, hold on a second. You might need a stuns. Oh, I don't know. That thing sweeps your team. Except for Seal. It's the only thing it doesn't sweep. But you don't really do much back to it with Seal. I would say try to put it to sleep with Harden because you're high enough level it's over gonna it. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be slow. There's no way that he, that we, that he outspeeds me, right? Like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. You're good. He you woke up. up. Awesome. He just said no? Okay. Yeah, he, he put him to sleep and he just said no. Nah. Not today. Oh, you're good. Side kills, right? Fun fact, if you freeze, you cannot unthaw. Yeah, we have learned that. Um, the uh, hard way. This... Did that first one crit him? It didn't kill him, Breezy! Did that first it one crit? Did. He critted me! I, th I think that you were dead regardless. I don't think that I don't think that side of it mattered. I think you were dead. But, but I thought you would have killed him. I, unless that first one crit and I didn't notice. should have killed it. Who just died for me? Uh, Arbok. Hmm. This is back-to-back -back episodes that we've lost the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> the, the side beam should have killed it. All right, well, you're not out of the weeds. Well, you're kind of out of the weeds. You should be fine. I think you can go into... The, the mental map... Just go into, in like, seal. Go into sense. seal or quick attack or something like that. I'm, I'm quick and attacking. Okay, um, okay, okay. All right, we got this. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, okay. This Cro makes things very, very interesting. I'm crossing out a lot of names on this list here. Of dead bodies we got. Um, hmm. Okay, we opened up Bug and Poison. Not the best typings. That should have killed him! <laughs> All right. Uh, Poblano, uh, uh, you had a great run. Wait, is this, it is Poblano, right? Yes. I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. Uh... Okay, all right. Um, huh. All right. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. What did I have as a backup plan? We could add, you could add a Kakuna and get a Beedrill as a bug replacement and I could add Zapdos, which is pretty good. Or, oh no, no, you could, add a, you could add Electabuzz and I could add Nidorino. Could. I could get a Poison type right back on the squad. Potential Nidoking if I ever find a Moonstone. And then you could have an Electabuzz right away. Electabuzz is pretty good. Other options. You could add a Weezing, and I could add a Drowsy. Weezing's pretty that'd, solid. That'd be interesting. Um, hmm. If we did Weezing there. Drowsy, we could also add Kakuna Zapdos. Yo, we could. So we could we could add two mods to the team. Hmm. I'm looking. You I'm could. I'm kind of down just for numbers' sake. Yeah, we could also do the Clefable Mew set, and then the Kakuna Zapdos. Mm -hmm. That gives you. You could. You would either get Clefable, and Kakuna, or Clefable Beedrill. Which I mean, Clefable's weak to fighting. Kakuna, I mean, Beedrill's a four times fighting resist. Kind of a good pair. I'd get Mew and Zapdos, which is kind of you know little little bit leaning in my favor. Um, only slightly. Hmm. That's if we're counting Pidgey as a flying type, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep yeah. forgetting about that. Sorry. I keep, I'm adding all these normal types like it's nothing. Um, I mean, I think Electabuzz Nidorino would be the fairest, like, add to the team. I would agree. I think, though, ours are, aren't those in... Those are in the daycare, aren't they? Yeah. That is. Well, looks like we gotta speed up and get that. Um, we're about 20 minutes in, which is kind of a short episode, but, I mean, we could run over to this, uh, other city, too. We can get the TM for Psychic, because we got Freshwaters. Oh, I used my Freshwater, didn't I? Gosh dang it, I used Freshwater to heal up. Now I need to go back and buy one. Uh, we can get the TM that's usually Psychic, from this Mr. Psychic dude, and... 
We could technically well, battle I, I, Chuck's gym. I was adding, wait, so was that was I adding Weezing? Um. Oh, if you do Weezing Drowsy, we can also add Kakuna Zapdos, uh, but that would give you Weezing and Beedrill, which is two poison types. Which, you know, I think Weezing's better to add than the Beedrill, but you could add the Electabuzz right away. Yeah, which I think is kind of good. Let's go get yeah. Let's go get those out of the daycare. Yeah. Man, imagine we could have got the encounter that was in this grass right here. Imagine. Okay. Go to the north. Do 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 do. But yeah, we could fight the. We could do the fighting gym kind of whenever, and we could get the gifted Pokemon from that. It'll be two options for both of us, so we can kind of pick true. and choose which one we get. Man, I can't believe that side beam didn't kill. I can't believe it. I was convinced. Pilks, level 28. You're right up there. It's like perfect. Um, I never found a Moonstone, though, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'll take it. Well, 26. What's that, Black the Buzz? Let's see what his moves that is. Oh, boy. Very good. Phenomenal. Awesome. Let me look at Electabuzz's level up moveset. Uh, he yeah, has I'm nothing? Right now. Oh, you are? Okay. Electabuzz moveset. 34. He gets Thunder Shock. And then 42 gets Thunder Punch. Not too far off, but it's kind of terrible for right now. I'm going to battle one of these trainers in this gym. Just see what level they are. Yeah. For the fighting dojo, we only have to like technically fight like one guy. And we can kind of sneak to the the leader. Oh, at least with the Charizard. That's fun. Oh, he's level 34. That's oh. really fun. Because we're having a good time. Good time. Having a it's good all right. It's all right. Time. It's all right. The champ got this. We're just going to try attack, do a bunch of damage. He's clicking Leer and Growl. We're good. We're good. Um, I mean, we could probably get through this. It'd be a risky biscuit, but... I mean, why not? Ready to risk the biscuit? You want to spice up this episode a little bit before we wrap let's up? Bite, let's spice it up. Oh, he has three Pokemon that are all higher level than me. I also just got the TM for Headbutt, so that's kind of fun. It's not bad. Well, I mean... Okay. I had a pretty good matchup. I had a pretty good matchup there because he had a Flareon and a Muck, so my Duck Trio kind of just took care of them. But that was very sketchy. Three level 34s. I don't know if this is the. I don't know if it's the play. It, it's I, spicy. I, I don't know if it's 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 spicy. Is it smart? That's no. to be determined. But spicy, yes. You're also higher level than me, predominantly. Low by yeah. Um, I think the smart thing to do would be <laughs> wrap up this episode, pick a chill pill, Before we and do decisions. yes, and then we will, we can grind up the team, kind of get them caught up on par with everything, and then go back to the Team Rocket thing. We'll do that. Just take our time with that, because we're kind of overleveled for that right now. So we go through that. I mean, regardless, we fight Articunos, it's going to be an issue. <laughs> but we'll go th continue going through that. We'll come back for that encounter. Um... And maybe off cam, I'll look at the teams a little bit more and see if we can potentially do some other changes to the team. But I think we're kind of good with this. I think we are. I think as soon as you get Dugong, you're chilling. Honestly, because Articuno yeah. will never be an issue for you again. And then you have Golem for Zapdos and Moltres. So I think you'll be good, honestly. But yeah, let's wrap it up here. I'm going to save it up. Cool. Uh, thank you guys for coming through. Leave some comments. If you guys have any pairs that you think we could change or anything like that, let us know. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye.